Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be going through RC phase shift guys. So from the name itself, we can say it will be having resistors and capacitors. Got it? So in this type of oscillator, we are not going to have. We are not going to have inductors guys. So the diagram is like this. So this is our CE amplifier. Here we are having three resistors in parallel and three capacitors right above them. Okay, and for this we are having down one like this one like this one and a capacitor that is C okay and load resistance will be above and VCC will be the supply above. So I hope somehow everyone can remember the diagrams. Okay, so now let us go through the things. Okay, the circuit arrangement of RC phase shift oscillator using NPN transistor is a common emitter. Yeah, we have just discussed it here R1 and R2. R1 and R2 provides the supply DC emitter bias base bias. So RL is the load to control the which controls the voltage guys. It is going to be the voltage controller and RE and RC. Okay. RC and R sorry RE and RC combinedly combinedly provide temperature stability prevention of AC signal degradation. Okay. It is not going to degrade the wave guys that's whatever we give it's going to increase it but it's not going to damage or decrease it okay and RC network provides a phase shift of 180 degrees between the input and the output okay these resistors will help I think so okay these resistors and capacitors are going to help it to reach 180 degrees and similarly CE amplifier gives 180 degrees so the total will be 360 so now again the same question guys now we need to make a beta is equals to 1 then it works as an oscillator right guys okay so now let us go through our complex analysis now okay basically we have an equation for lc lc equation only guys that is useful only for inductors and capacitors problems or those type of circuits but here we are having capacitors and resistors so we will be using loop method in which we will be drawing a circuit that's what our left of our right part of our diagram guys we are having three resistors I have told you to remember three resistors and three capacitors with the load connected and the supply which gives VTH which is which gives HFE also okay so here we will be assuming as I2 here I1 here IB it's all up to you guys I1 I2 I3 also works A B C also works anything depending on you works so I hope everyone knows how to write a loop equation. So I hope everyone knows that we will be drawing a loop. If we take in this direction, we need to take for every loop we should take in that direction only guys. So I took clockwise. Yeah, that's clockwise. So clockwise. So now I have wrote from three to one. Okay, for this I wrote first. So basically you will be assuming that here the current is IB, here the current is I1, here the current is I2. So in which loop you are, you, as, you will be assuming that that is the greatest or the largest amount of current. So if we are doing for this, IB is the maximum current. For this I1, for this I2 will be the maximum current like that. Got it? So now let us write the equation for this. It is nothing but here we are starting. Okay. And it touches it first. So it is nothing but R into, so I hope everyone knows the formula V is equals to IR. We will be writing in terms of voltage only guys. So it is a multiple of resistor and I. So it is nothing but we will be writing like this. So it initially touches this. So R into IB minus I1. I told you that IB is the greater one. So IB minus I1. So R into IB minus I1. So it moves on, moves on and it reaches here. Okay, C, C into IB. Further moving on, R into IB. So that's what I have just took common guys. So as they are in series, you can just directly add them and do it. It's all up to you. So I hope everyone knows the value of capacitor. Capacitor for C, it is 1 by JWC. For C1, it is 1 by JWC1 like that. There is no confusion in that. Okay, guys. So I have just wrote this equation now. So similarly in loop 2. Okay, we'll be starting from here only again. So here it is R into I1 minus I2 further moving on C into I1 plus R into 
i1 minus ib that's the equation and we'll be substituting the c is equals to 1 by jwc that's it got it guys further moving on this it touches the negative of this so minus okay here he took plus why did he take plus i went bit confused just a second guys okay so let us write for another things then we'll be coming for here so avoid this for some time guys so here it is nothing but i2 into rl so i wrote i2 into rl fine further moving on to c i2 into c yep i wrote it further moving on here r into i2 minus i1 r into i2 minus i1 yep that's it fine so we are done with the this part guys this l is done like this okay so this we have wrote like this hfe into i e or i l i think i i i i let's give, just give me a second guys i'll be rechecking okay that is nothing but i b oops sorry guys just a second give me a second guys i'll be just going through it and i'll be verifying and i'll be saying that's i b how can we write i b there just a second yeah that's i b only because we are already having i1 and i2 that's going to be i b that's it so now we will be using a matrix guys in which we will be justifying ib okay we will be justifying ib i1 and i2 okay so that we will be substituting all these values guys if there is no value we will be just keep placing a zero like this so i filled the whole matrix form so i hope everyone knows how to multiply internally in matrix that's what we call something something there is a word guys i forgot that so the, it works like this guys 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So for the first set, we will be multiplying one into five, seven, five nines. Five nines. How much five nines, guys? Forty-five minus six eights. Like this, we gonna multiply and we gonna subtract the second one and add the third one. Like that. If we do for these three, that's it. That's going to be the whole matrix form into a ordinary equation or ordinary value, guys. So that's what I have just did here. 2r plus ijwc for this 2r plus ijwc into 2r plus ij i by jwc into r plus rl plus 1 by jwc so this will be my first part minus of minus r into minus r that is plus r square so minus r square will be here so this minus r so this part will be minus r into minus r so minus r will be just removing these two guys so that these two will multiply minus these two will multiply so that's what i have just written here so if you further solve it slowly step by step guys this is really really a complex one that's the reason why i have told you that it's complex analysis directly i have just told you the word okay so we'll be furtherly slowly solving it step by step it's really careful you need to really really careful guys so by slowly calculation calculation again the same situation happens we want to get an imaginary part and a real part so if you manage this to be the normal equals to 0 if you make that imaginary part equals to 0 we are going to get the frequency okay so x c square is equals to 6 r square plus 4 r r l so we have just changed x l into w square okay that's fine Okay, x is x is equals to one by w square, guys. So we just have changed it. So we somehow managed to get w. W is equals to one by this. So we all know that w is equals to two pi f. So f is equals to one by two pi c under root six r square plus r l into four. So this is our equation. So I'll be assuming that n is equals to r l by r. So that I directly got one by two pi c r into six plus four m. So I hope everyone is now clear with this expression. further moving on we will be making the real part equals to 0 so similarly we will be making the real part so to find hfe so the equation should have hfe here we are having hfe so we will be making any kind of changes and we will be pushing this whole part to the other side so it becomes like this so hfe should be single so we have sent this also to that side so we are also having a formula this guys n is equals to rl by r so if there is any possibility to form like that we going to change it don't worry So initially we took R common. Similarly, R L here. Similarly, okay, from the whole equation we can take one R common. So that's the why that's the reason why the denominator has decreased one. So here R square 
here it became r that's the reason we have just cancelled an r so at the end we got r square by r l that is nothing but r square by r r l so r r will cancel so r by l is nothing but n right okay similarly we got these two are going to get cancelled so 23 plus r l square by r into r l r l and this r l r l by r is nothing but n so that's how we got this equation so we are done with the frequency and hfe so this is the conclusion of rc phase shift oscillator guys so in the next tutorial we'll be going through Wien's diagram sorry Wien's bridge oscillator guys that's also an important oscillator and it's a bit easy oscillator guys when we compare with this because there is a small small diagram for that and a small solution for that thank you thanks for watching